What's going on guys? Big Time 110 here. And today, I want to show you guys a ROM called MIUI 10. Now, this ROM is very unique. I know a lot of people are going to say it's very iOS-like, and it is. But, I don't know if that's a bad thing. Because sometimes, you know, from trying different ROMs, you kind of get kind of bored and you need something to cleanse that palette you know so this will help you with that so at first glance as you can see it does look like iOS you got all the icons outside and there's nowhere to put them because there's no you know there's no launcher there's no um you can't put them on your app drawer you know so the launcher just has every icon just fall on the screen once you install it it just automatically will add it but let me just show you around a little bit, you know. So if you go to your left on the home screen, you know, you got this drawer-like OS, Oxygen OS-like. a lot of information that you might like, you know, you can customize it. And if you're on the home screen and you press down, you bring down the notification shade. Or if you press from the bottom up, you press that comes, uh, it becomes a search. So you can search just like I think iOS. And if you, oh, let me show you guys. Um, there's also like a, let's see. You see that? The old, the old, the ambient display is pretty cool. I noted that it'll move in different, it'll move up and down to the middle, depending. So it won't have, it won't burn in your screen. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, now <clears throat> this is how it, it looks, and uh, there's a lot of things that are like, you know, for example, the animations, they're really cool. Like, if you could be, you know, you could be in an app, I don't know, you could be like in, you know, let's see, you could be here, look how it blurs out as you bring it down. I'm doing it slowly so you guys can see the effect, you know. Check that out, right? Um, what else? You know, uh, we also have the this this ROM always comes with a lot of tools that might be useful for a lot of people. You know, it comes with the calculator, obviously, the recorder for voice, the screen recorder. You got the Me Drop, which is like a, a file sharing file manager. So it also comes with uh, every other regular app. We got a file manager, we got a notes, we got a me video. And we also <clears throat> have uh, let's see, oh one thing to know guys is that when you install this ROM, it doesn't come with the Play Store. So you have to install it yourself. It's not really difficult. I thought it was gonna be more difficult than that. Um don't even try to install open apps on it because it won't start install. It won't go through. You get an error. But just download the the, the Play Store app. I probably will link it. And if you guys need it, I'll just link it to you guys. But um, but yeah, this is a dope um a dope ROM. It's a it's very nice and clean. As you can see, just look at the the status bar on top. I like that. You know, it has a lot of information that. Maybe you don't need it, maybe you do need it, you know? This is the you know, the brightness bar. You got all your, you know, other options here, you know? And on top, you got the settings. And as you can see, I have a black theme. So, as you can see here, it's the MIUI 10 Global 9.5.30 Beta. And it has all the information that, that you might need here and uh, another thing to know guys is that this is not your traditional install so just follow directions there and if you guys need any help just send me a message and I'll help you guys out just remember you need to also when you boot up to time TWRP you gotta you gotta mount the vent and then fi flash the files that says the UI 60 or something after that you gotta also make sure that you have a kernel 
selected from the 6T kernels that are available. So if you don't have that, it won't boot. Because it happened to me, it was not booting at all. But once you flash the kernel at the end, it should boot up right away. So here we got a lot of other options, you know, like this system status, security status, we got the Wi-Fi, we got the Bluetooth, you know. Um, it has a lot of a lot of information that you might be curious to check out. You know, display, you know, you got your contrast level, ambient displays. Now this is what I'm talking about to you guys. So you have lots of options. I don't know, whatever you guys like, you know. I don't know. Some of you might like that, some of you might like this. Hey, you might like the little astronaut, you know. For me, I, I just kept that one. That one seems to be fine. You can also schedule it. You have the schedule here. You can put a turn on and turn off time. Uh, we have the ambient display on and off. The anti flicker mode, which I really don't know what that is for. We got dark mode, so I turned it on and it turned everything into dark mode. And you have the text size. You got the double tap screen to wake, which I did turn on. Uh, let's see, we also got the wallpapers. There's tons of wallpapers, guys, so you can be here for a long time just looking for wallpapers, you know. And the same thing for for themes, you know, like if you go to themes. Now, I'm not sure, but there are instructions on the on the thread that it'll tell you it'll show you how to log in i think i logged into the account my me ui account but it's not working for me because this is a beta build so but but either way you're welcome you're welcome to try and maybe they will work for you because they have a lot of cool a lot of cool themes i mean for example let's see let's just say you would chose i don't know this one this is how it would look. This will be your lock screen, be your keyboard, and that's how your icons will look, you know. And let's see. Let's see this one. So and you also get the like the ringtones, so it'll have different ringtones depending on the theme. So like, there you go. So that's a little bit about the themes. We got the sound and vibration, you got your normal. You know, this ringtone sounds pretty, pretty cool, so I leave them. I don't have any men, you know, mess with that. You also get a delete sound, which sounds pretty cool. Sounds like, a, you know, when you're crumpling paper, <laughs> when you throw something away. And then we have lock screen and password. Now, this, I could not get it to work, guys. So let me show you guys. You see how it says add your fingerprint, and it does. Look, the light does turn on. Let's press area lightly. But for whatever reason, yeah, I couldn't get it to work. And my, what I think is that this, the area where the, the the optical image is, it's a little bit. I guess it's a few centimeters to the top, where naturally the you know the one plus six C is a little bit underneath that. You could probably get it to work. I just can't. Then you have your at face data. You got your screen password privacy protection password so you can use you know a, a password for a lot of things you could launch the camera the buttons you know we got the wake with the volume buttons we also have notification status bar we got a lot of stuff that you know a lot of the ROMs always they always come with so let's see we have connection speed you can show carry when device is locked you can even edit the carry name the battery indicators on top as you can see with the with the percentage in the icon so the other options are next to the icon or just graphical which is just no it doesn't show you anything just the battery indicator and then we have notification style you can have android or miui style i choose android so i leave it there what else do we have here we have home screen and recent here you can check if you want um, a default launcher and you could also change how many I guess the size of it to 4656 show memory show suggestions and uh, let me show you guys something home screen let's go back so for me I didn't use it with the normal launcher so what I would do even with with this ROM 
back in the days, I would always install either a Nexus launcher, a Google launcher, or now a Pixel launcher. So let me show you how that looks. See? Now I only have my apps that I want. Even though they're like squared off, which I don't I don't think it looks bad. It's okay. You know, we have our usual, you know, and then you have the go feed on the side. So I don't this is how I would rock it. You know, this is how, if I was rocking this ROM, this is how I would rock the ROM. I would always have it with a pixel launcher. I mean, everything else works, you know? So let's go back. Let me show you guys the recent. So it gives you all these options. So and it shows you all the apps that are open. You either could go split screen, you could, you could go to cleaner and it cleans everything. <clears throat> you could also do a deep clean, which I don't know why you would want to do that, but it's there. You can manage your apps from here, or you can simply just press on this X on the, on the bottom and just clear everything. But we're not gonna do that, so we're gonna go here, continue where we're at. Battery performance, you know, you got your usual battery uh, optimization. As you can see, it'll scan, it'll tell me, hey, these apps are consuming excessive power. You got, you know, turn off GPS, it's been on for 16 minutes. I, I think that's pretty cool. Let's see here. You can choose apps that you want to put in the battery saver. Let's see here. We go to storage. It'll calculate your storage and tell you what you're using your fresh storage on. And you have your Google option. Now this is something that was already baked in the that came in with the ROM because I noticed it. Like without having the store, the Play Store, it already had this option. So I don't know. Then you have your additional settings here for whatever reason you can't change that region from China so you're stuck with that but you can change the date the time and the language so as soon as you change the date time and the language and you know you just put whatever you're from it'll change the time because it was different for me it was showing me like 24 hour mode and I edited I didn't want that so here you got a lot of other options like for example here you control you know like headphones and audio effects and you can even assign buttons you got the button gestures and shortcuts see we have the launch camera um, obviously I have none right now because the ROM doesn't come with a camera but there's a, a G cam that they're on thread that they uh, posted that you can use and it works so far I haven't tried it yet I just downloaded this yesterday then you have the torch, turn on torch, I press, double press the power button to turn it on. You have a bunch of other, you know, settings that you could um, fiddle with. Uh, you got the automatic double navigation buttons and you have the usual, you know, for us one six one plus owners. We got the press and hold the power button for the Google Assistant. And let's see, let's go back. Here we got a lot of other options. Full screen display. Here, if you press hide the notch, it will hide you can't really see it but you see how it brings down the notifications down that's what hide the notch it'll put a black bar on top but we don't need that who wants that and then you can also adjust the the notch curves i don't know how but and then here as you can see when you first install the rom you have the button settings but i I, I went and go ahead and uh, activated the full screen gestures as you can see here it's showing you and it has double check for gestures just in case there's some full screen apps and you know you have to swipe up uh, you got full screen mode but if you see here these are the gestures they're not bad they're actually pretty good you know we got the swipe from the bottom to go to the home screen if you swipe from the bottom and stop at the you know you just like hold it in the middle it'll bring up your recent and if you press from either side it'll go back so it be left or right side it'll you know it'll be back it'll go back and there's some apps that have like a it'll have like a side panel so you just have to do it like it says here trigger apps action it'll be from the top portion or the top side and it'll you know it'll pull out the, the whatever app panel it has and then if you want to switch to previous app you just swipe left all the way to the right 
and hold for a while and it'll switch to the next app. I don't think it's bad at all, guys. And then you got your emergency and then explore new features. I don't know what it's quick ball. I don't know what it is, guys. So we got one handed mode, which is cool. You could turn it on if you like. You can even do 3.5. But for me, I'm good. I don't need that. We also have dual apps now. I've seen this on the OnePlus, but the OnePlus, it only has limited to some apps. But here, these guys have it on every app. So you could run, I guess, the same app twice. I don't, I mean, pretty cool, but I don't know why every app. But I, hey, the, the option is there. And you have your permissions. You know, you got a lot of stuff here. You got your, let's see, permissions. You got, see? You can just see what's using what. I think it's pretty cool. And you got your app lock. Now, I think this is pretty cool because um, you have some apps that you might want to lock down and set a password. Hey, there you go. You can do that. So, I think that's about it, guys. Well, let's see. Let's go. So yeah, guys, thank you again for watching this video. This has been a MIUI 10 on the OnePlus 6T. If you guys need any help installing it, let me know. Uh, I could post all the links and I could post whatever files I use. And let me know what you guys need help with and I will help you guys. This is not too difficult, but it's not something that we're used to or accustomed to install on our phone. So. Thank you guys for watching this video again. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.